I'm done with his thoracic cavity, move on to his abdominal assessment. Again, I already asked him about I asked all those questions up front, right? So I don't have to, I don't have to worry about forgetting. I want you to go lay down here. So the next knees, arms at your sides. Okay. The pillow might be a little bit too thick. This is called the dorsal recumbent position. This is the normal position to do an abdominal assessment in. Okay? But so you guys can see on the video, Anthony, put your leg down. Not the proper way to do an abdominal assessment, right? Okay? So I start off by doing inspection. All my assessments are the same way. I'm looking at his abdomen. It seems slightly convex to me. It's, it's not grossly protuberant. It's not, he's not obese. He's not, uh, doesn't have ascites or anything of that sort. Okay? I don't see a bulging. I don't see any visible peristalsis. Again, I would actually be looking at his stomach if it was a real patient. I don't see any visible pulsations. I don't see any stri, scars, lesions, erythemia, pallor, um, induration, anything like that. Okay? And the skin is already mentioned. I'm done inspecting. I'm then going to start with auscultation next with the abdominal system because if I palpate too soon, I could change the frequency of his bowel sounds. Do you haven't eaten anything in the last hour, have you? No. Okay, perfect. Okay, so start in the right lower quadrant. And I listen for one minute. I'm listening for five to 35 bowel sounds. Less than five is called hyper hypoactive. More than 35 is called hyperactive. More than 35 with increased frequency and pitch is called borborgymia, or however you say that word. <laughs> one minute in each corner. For a total of four minutes before I can say he doesn't have bowel sounds. Okay? I hear that. I'm then going to find his umbilicus and I'll listen for the abdominal um, bruis, okay, the abdominal aorta. I don't hear any bruis, okay? At which point I'm ready to start palpation. Okay, he has normal bowel sounds. Do you, do you okay with any questions? Go to the back. No. Okay, good. Make sure of that. Okay, so light palpation about a half an inch. No, that's good for you. Get to see it because it happened to you yesterday. I'm just looking at his facial, wanting to know if there's any tender areas, if there's any masses, any lesions, anything like that. Okay. Someone asked me yesterday, where's the symphysis pubis? Basically, if he had a gown on where his pubic hair starts to grow is the end of his abdomen. Light palpation, and then I'm going to depalpate approximately one to three inches. Let me give you some pressure here. Let me know if you have any pain. I'm using the, the top hand for pressure, the bottom hand for palpation. You okay? Mm -hmm. Again, I'm not skilled enough to tell which organ I'm feeling, but I'm looking for any hardened areas, any masses. Again, using, well, I mean, some people are my sister, you can't come within three feet and breathe on her without taking it. Just try to get them to quit laughing, okay? You maybe go to some other part of the assessment and come back. But you try to get your assessment in, okay? And then also with this, I'm going to also note if there's any rebound tenderness, okay? Which, you remember what rebound tenderness is yet? So do the null thing, right? Ouch. Right? Rebound <laughs> tenderness is indicated in peritonitis. When I push it on the abdominal cavity, and that rebounding of the peritoneal, peritoneal cavity, yeah, causes, um, that inflammation causes pain. Okay. Abdominal assessment done. Sit you back up, young man.